while everyone has that one secret dream that they hope to achieve. And an upcoming Newtown event is designed to encourage people to support and to empower each other to reach their goals. Our guest host, Arthur Pat Mechanic, is a part of a panel discussion along with authors Lillian Lincoln Lambert and Marsha Haygood. It is so great to have you ladies here. Wow, we've got a power <laughs> panel going on here. And the name of this panel that you're going to be on is called Begin, Believe, Be. Yeah. What a great title. Where did the idea come from for this panel? Well, it all started with Pat. Yes, so, uh, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> so, how'd you get this idea? Um, as an, you know, I have a network of women for everything I do, mm -hmm. but as an author, I felt like I was on an island, uh -huh. and I felt like I wanted some people that I could share with and learn from. And um, a, ch a local church had recently done a book fair, and so I called and. The woman gave me their information. We connected, and after our first meeting, I walked out thinking, we've got something here. Yeah, oh, really you sure do. Yeah. Now, we want to brag a little bit about these <laughs> ladies. <laughs> Lillian, you were the first African-American woman to get a master's degree from Harvard University. Yeah, from the business school, right. From the business school. Wow, what was that like? It was grueling. <laughs> it bet. was not a pleasant two years, I can say that. Uh, and I did not know when I went there that I was the first African-American woman to go. And it's probably best I didn't because I may not have gone. Mm -hmm. But when I got there and realized out of a student body of uh, 15 or 1,600 students, there were nine blacks, eight guys, and me, and 35 women. So I, had n I was not used to this environment. I came from Howard University which was uh, mostly a predominantly black school and a very supportive university. But uh -huh. at, at, Howard, at Harvard, it felt very cold, isolated. I felt very alone. It, the work was very difficult. The weather was cold. <laughs> <laughs> Social life was almost non-existent. So yeah. you know, my first question was, why am I here? Well, I bet it changed your life, though, after it was all well, over. Well, that's true. It's the kind of, uh, it's known as the best business school in the world. And having those credentials does open some doors for you that may not be open otherwise. So it was uh, two years of uh, agony, I say, but it paid off in the end. <laughs> and some of the things, I guess, it. Uh, helped me do as a result is it increased my confidence I think it also mm -hmm. showed me that if you're in a situation where things are not as you think they mm -hmm. should be instead of waiting says somebody should do something you need to say I need to do something oh. so my two, four of my classmates and I started the African American Student Union to be a support group for those students coming behind us for simple things and wow but you know, what a difference it made it, uh, well now, of course, you have oh. written a book, Marcia, one book called The Little Black Book of Success, which is in now its 11th printing mm -hmm. yes. internationally. And of course, you've written another book since then. Yes. But what made that book such a great seller? You know, I think that when we first started, my co-authors, Elaine Merrill Brown and Rhonda Joy McLean, started thinking about a book. We first started meeting as a group, just to meet as a support group. And at the end of every meeting, we'd say, you know, we could write a book about that. <laughs> we could write a book about that. That's when that. you know something's, brewing. You know something's <laughs> brewing. Yeah. And we started to just talk about things that we had seen. We saw people, women in particular, mm -hmm. make avoidable mistakes. Yes. And we said, you know, why don't we talk a little bit about that? And we started, and we've now ended up with 40 laws of leadership that we talk about. And we actually share things that we have experienced, things that we have seen. And we've just written a companion workbook. Oh. Uh, the Little Black Book is known as A Mentor in Your Pocket. Oh. And the workbook is now called Your Personal Call to Action. This is going to be quite a panel discussion. What do you hope the community gets out of it? I think I, what I'd like for them to get is to realize that, first of all, that group of women, need, we need to be more supportive of each other. Uh -huh. We need to come together as a group. We all have so much to share. We have different talents we bring to the group. And we can make things easier for women as a whole. We, we've isolated enough. Yes. So coming together helps solve that. And I think all of us can bring to the table that if there's something you want to do, you just need to decide you want to do it. And Very put good. Together a plan to get it done. Very quickly, your life lesson. I have to ask that. Tell me, each of you, what is your life lesson? I'd start off by saying, take your dreams out of storage. Mm 
We all have oh. dreams. And as kids, we just think we can do anything. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, life gets in the way. Yeah. I think we now need to take our dreams out of storage. I'm, I'm an optimist. I think everything is possible. Oh. And, and, and why not try that? Begin. Begin. Yeah. And what is your life My lesson? My life lesson is that don't let obstacles and challenges stop you from doing what you want to do. Mm -hmm. My motto is use obstacles as stepping stones to higher levels of achievement. Oh, Absolutely. very good. Pat, what is yours? Believe. If you don't believe, you'll never get there. Imagine yourself there. What will it look like? Who will be surrounding you? What will you be doing? Believe that you can. The young people in our community certainly need to hear these things, don't they? Yes, they do, yes, and we plan to tell them as often as we can. Good for you. I want to be at this discussion and hear you guys. It is going to be a book signing and a panel discussion on April 28th. It's going to be at the North County Library in Sarasota. For more information, go to the library's website. This is something you've got to see. And next, we get our pools ready for spring with a makeover from Tile Outlets.